I'm going to go to 5.17. It says, where all conductors in a raceway are the same size, the number of conductors permitted in a raceway shall be determined by simply looking up at the tables located in Annex C. But an important point to understand is there are people out there that say, well, if you go to Annex C, it tells you how many wires. Some people are like, I don't know if I believe that table. So they'll go in there, they'll go to Chapter 9, they'll go to Table 5, they'll take those conductors, and they'll go to Table 4, and they'll verify. And they yep. say, well, there's problems with Annex C. And the reason they think it's problem with Annex C is because of Note 7. And what does yep. Note 7 say? <clears throat> when calculating the maximum number of conductors or cables permitted in a conduit or tubing, all of the same size, the total cross-sectional area, including insulation, the next higher whole number shall be used to determine the maximum number of conductors permitted when the calculation results in a decimal greater than or equal to 0.8. So if I do a calculation, and I think, Ryan, you did a calculation today. What, what's, what wire did you use? What size? So he, we had Ryan, who works with us here, he's in the background. He's doing a lot of stuff in the background. He had 300 KCML XHHW. And you wanted to find out how many could fit in where? In a two-inch two raceway. Well, if you take the XHHW, 300 KC mills, you go to Chapter 9, Table 5, you find the area of the conductors, you multiply it by how, how many? Oh, no, you want to know how many could fit in there. Well, then you know the area of one conductor, then you go to Table 4, what kind of raceway? Schedule 40 PVC, you know the area at 40% fill. Then you take the area of the conductor and you divide the area of the conductor into the area of conductor fill and you came out to be what? Uh, How many conductors you came up with? Uh, two. No, you came up. No, you came up with what number? What number? Uh, 1.3608. Okay, then that wasn't the example. I thought, Brian, you were saying something. If it came out to be, let's say, two point. Eight. Eight. Well, then you could have three wires. So if you go to Annex C, when they're all size and the same insulation, and it and the number of conductors is 0.8 or larger, then Annex C allows it to round off. I thought we had a different example. I apologize. Yes, Vince. So there's nothing forcing anybody to go to Annex C. All the annexes are just information. Um, you can use them if you want. So you can go certainly go to Annex C and use it, or you can do the calculation right. and use the number that you come up with in your calculation. Most of the time, I would think it's going to come up to the same, but there are some anomalies like you just mentioned. Yeah, so if they're all the same size, same insulation, you just go to Annex C. You're, you're Annex not going to sit there and do yeah. a calculation. If you do a calculation, you could end up coming wrong. Yeah. Unless you know about Note 7. All right, so let's work an example, Annex C. This is C1, C.1. EMT 14 RHH with cover, which makes no sense at all, right? You're not going to find RHH conductors today, and you're going to put it in a raceway with cover. That was the old <laughs> Romex. But it's a question, so we have to answer the question. And if we go to Annex C1, RHH with the cover, I guess the answer is 14. I'm sorry, 11. 11. And then we have another one. What about if you had six, eight THWN-2 conductors? Uh, what size raceway? Six of them? Well, then you're taking the insulation, you're taking the number of conductors, and now you're selecting the raceway. So we're kind of working it backward. Does that come out to be three-quarter inch? Three-quarter of an inch. Okay. And then how about if I have 26... 12 THWN-2 conductors, what size raceway? In other words, could they fit in the raceway or what size raceway? It all depends on how you want to phrase the question. How many can fit in a one-inch raceway, Mario? 26. Oh, so you can't have 26, so therefore it would be a one-inch. One-inch EMT. EMT. And the next one is five, six XHHW conductors. Can they fit in a one-inch EMT? We want to put the one-inch symbols on this graphic here. And Mario? 
Uh, ENT, you have to go to the ENT table. You got to go to XHHW, and I have five of them. Yep, one inch ENT. Great size one. Okay. And I have three one gauge THHN conductors. The question could be what size raceway or how many of these can fit in the raceway or whether it will fit. So now you're going to go to, I'm sorry, this was the graphic here, three one gauge and looking at the code book, you're looking under flex metal condo, it's a different table. You're looking under one and a quarter, how many one gauge wires can fit in it? Three. Okay, so that's okay. And now I have fixture wires, which is table C.8. Having to do with liquid tight. And I have 39 18 TFFN conductors. So we are now in table C.8. And it's TFFN. So three quarter liquid tight T, uh, liquid tight TFF and 18 gauge. How many, Mario? 39. Okay. So then this graphic is correct. And if you're going to put a single conductor in a raceway, going to Annex C and PBC, and that's Schedule 80. So Schedule 80 is C, table C.10, uh, three odd. Can it fit in a three-quarter? Yes. Okay. NXC. Good luck adding that one in there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's 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 just round and round. Okay. I got a question, Mike. Would note two apply to this where you're just using it for physical protection? Well, what does note two say? Let's let's read note two. So back with the chapter nine. Chapter note to table or is it a note? Yeah, it's a note to tables. Is it note to table one or is it note to tables? Note to Notes tables. to tables. Okay. So what does note to tables, note two say? <clears throat> okay. Note two says table one applies only to complete conduit or tubing system and is not intended to apply to sections of conduit or tubing used to protect exposed wiring and cable from physical damage. So no raceway fill for sleeves? No raceway fill for a sleeve. But if you were gonna to try to find a wire to sleeve it. <laughs> yeah. And if you use the fifty three percent fill. Okay. So let's look at the graphic that we had and let's see if that graphic makes any sense. Well, note two says that we don't have to limit ourselves to the percentages identified on table one, right? Should I delete this from my book, this example, or leave it in there? I think you should leave it in there. Yeah. It's yeah. a pretty common application. Yeah. But <clears throat> even though it's not required, I don't think any inspector, no inspector cares what size raceway the grounding electric conductor. No, no. So now that Mario brought up note two, my eyes just happened to drift down to note four and I noticed <laughs> this before and I, I didn't, it didn't really click. I was, it bothered me. And <clears throat> note four is the 24 inch rule for tubing nipples. Yeah. And it says where they are installed between boxes, cabinets, and similar enclosures. Yeah. Between. Right. So I guess if you're doing a chase pipe out of a panel up, that's not really the 24 inch nipple rule, which is what we always, I, I always thought it was that would limit oh, what you could right. put in there. That's right. That would be a sleeve. It's a sleeve. So then there is no rule saying how many you can put in there. So you can't you can overfill put, that. How many you can put what in How there? many NM cables or Okay. As long as we know, we're not talking about conductors. Yeah, no, no. I, that's why I said I just, my eyes went down there and I was like, wait a second. So that means that there is no fill rule for that. Because that discussion has been had before by other people, and I was just like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And now I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, there's uh, no fill rule, there's no rule for that. Sleeve it. However, all cables must terminate to the enclosure with a, with a connector. Right. You can't just 
Just leave a two-inch pipe. Well, actually, you could. There you is can. something There's in... There's a rule um, that allows you to. I don't know what rule that is. Right. <clears throat> um, the, um, uh, whatever, yeah, the discontinuous or the uh, incomplete... Yeah, with the surface mounted box, right. you can sleeve up 314. Mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on. Was that okay, guys? Yeah. I just said that because like, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, wait a second. I always <laughs> thought there was a limit to that. Compact, table C10, paren A. And I'm not going to go any further than this. I think you guys, right? Okay with it? Just look at the table, look at the book, look at the answer. Here's another PBC schedule 40. I'm not going to get into the details. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Dreamers? I think we got him. It's just an example. You guys can go look it up. Here's another compact conductor. Not going to work that example out. You guys should be doing that, looking it up. 